So in this project, we are going to start working with an actual database. We are going to install Entity Framework and we are going to create some migrations and create tables in our database. And we are going to work with two tables, one for the songs and one for the genre. And I will show you how to link these two tables together using a foreign key. So this is a simple CRUD application that allows us to create, edit or delete records. So we have a bunch of songs. I will show you how to seed the database with uh, some sample data. And of course, we will code everything to be able to do the CRUD operations. So when I go to add new song, it goes to a screen that lets us add new song. So I'm going to add test song. And I'm going to add a year, let's say 2022. And I'm not going to pick any genre or rating. Let's see what happens when I click add and it says that there were errors and we need to fix them. So I'm going to change the year to valid year. I'm going to select the genre and give it a rating, let's say 11. So when I click add, it still is not happy because rating must be one to five. So we will have some user input validation right there. So I'll set the rating and add the song. And when we add the song, we are returned back to our homepage and you can see the song was added right here. And then we can of course edit it. So I'm going to change the name of the song and the rating, click edit, and we go back to our homepage and it shows the edited record. And of course we can delete the record. So when I click delete, it goes to a simple screen that asks to confirm deletion. I'll click delete and the record is gone. So even though this is a simple CRUD application, there are quite a few moving parts. Like I said, we will create entity framework and use it to create a database with two tables, link them together. We will of course use MVC pattern. We will use the helper tags, but this time we will use them a little more comprehensively, especially the routing part of the helper tags. We will use the forms with hidden input to capture the ID of the record. We will use multiple migrations for the database just so that I can show you how to add migrations and how to fix migrations that didn't work properly. We will of course use error attributes to capture errors that the user may make. And on top of that, I will also show you how to create friendly URLs. For example, when I click edit, you can see that the URL is all lowercase, which normally it wouldn't be because the song would be the controller and it would be uppercase S and edit would be the action and it would be the uppercase E. But I'll show you how to set the options for the routing to have this lowercase. Additionally, we will append to this uh, URL the name of the song as well as the year of the song. So these are the friendly URLs. So rather than showing just song slash edit slash one for the ID, we will also actually show the name of the song and in this case also the year of the song so the user can see right in the URL what song is being edited. Of course, we are going to build on what we already learned in the previous projects. We will, of course, as you can see, style our pages using Bootstrap again. I will also show you how to add a connection string to the upsettings.json and how to add optional parameters to the routing because so far we only worked with the simple routing for the controller slash action and optional ID. And now we will also add another optional argument to it. So like I said, it's a simple application, but there's a lot of moving parts. So enough talking, let's start coding.